Green Valley Ranch, Henderson, Nevada. I'm playing Ultimate Texas Hold'em. I'm doing 25 on my Annie and Blind. I'm doing $5 on my trips. Um, I'm doing the $1 progressive. That's the light up button you see here. We're currently working on a $67,000 progressive. Um, if you saw any of my last videos, we've got the same deal going. The dealer deals us the Royal Flush or the Straight Flush. They get a third of it. Uh, and then the government gets a third of it because they're going to come rob me at gunpoint. Uh, King Tooth is going to be a check. And then I get the other third. Trips on the board, on the flop. Um, but I'm going to check that. Because I, want, I need something over here. And a King Two, you know what, I'll just one exit. Hope for the King High card. Eight, three, okay, there we go. There we go. Trips on the board wins it for us. So the progressive is 100% for the Royal Flush, we'd get $67,000. Uh, straight Flush is 10%, we'd get $6,700. Four of a kind is 300 to one, full house is 50 for one, flush is 40 for one, a straight is 30 for one, and three of kind is nine for one. Now you don't get your original bet back, so you just take $1 away from any of those numbers. Sure, I get my progressive out there. I do not want to miss out on that 67,000 when our dealer here uh, hands us the Royal Flush. Not them, not their Royal Flush, our Royal Flush. Be specific. Ace, okay, we're not we're not even gonna look. I gotta, I gotta peek at something there. It's a, I believe it's a black card, but we are just going to uh, go right in. Go right in on it. All right, Let's see what happens. A four and a two, okay, they've, they've paid up, paired up, that's terrifying. A two, we've also paired up, but we've got the ace. Squeaked out a win with that one. A good four X. The ace did not fail us that time. I've really had some aces. Uh, flip around and stab me in the back, but that one treated me pretty nice. All right, we've got a jack, three, we're checking it. Okay, two, three, four, let's get another check. Oh. We can run with the jack high and hope the dealer does not pair. But I'm not really, I'm not really feeling that. I rolled with it before, it hurt. If there was at least a pair on the board, I might consider it. Jack six, they paired up, yep. It was a good fold. I always love saving $25. It's like getting a little coupon at the casino. I didn't spend 55, well, 56 technically. No, I saved 25. <laughs> That's what we have to tell ourselves, keep throwing money on the table. We're just chasing. We're just chasing that $67,000 at this point. Technically, I guess I'm chasing $22,000 at this point. All right, we have a king. And a nine. I think king nine is going to be good enough for me because it's jack eight, king six. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fire off on it. We've got a pair on the board. Two pair on the board. That's kind of terrifying. Hope the dealer does not pair up. An eight and a queen. Okay, there we go. A good four x. Yeah, once I see more pairs on the board, I'm a little less concerned about them pairing because getting three of a kind is pretty challenging. As much as we've seen it lately, three of a kind is very challenging. And then once you've got pair blockers on the board, it's a little less scary. Um, because for people who count outs, I'm not one of them because I'm not that smart. Um, that's the kind of thing they're looking for. It's less outs or more outs, however you count them. I don't know, don't ask me, ask Spencer. He's the poker guy. A 10-3, that's a check. Not great. 
Okay, we do have a pair. It's not a terrible pair. The only other pair that would be bad is the Ace, and we're not we're not seeing that, and we're not seeing two pair. So since I started playing Ultimate Texas Hold'em, so definitely gotten a little bit better at recognizing the some of the more scary hands and that, recognizing some of the patterns that are very basic and I should have recognized from the start. Uh, straights still evade my mind. I miss straights all the time. It's kind of like with me and uh, aces and blackjack. The only ones that I know for sure double is basically like every dealer six versus basically ace anything. A three and a king. Oh, we need better than that. Okay, pair. There's a pair on the board. We're going to 2x. $50 in. An 8-10, it worked. We push our ante. This dealer didn't have anything, but we get 50 bucks. I don't even care about the anti-pushing at that point. Does not bother me in the slightest. Let's just keep winning something. As long as the chips keep moving in the right direction, we're happy. And when the chips move in the other direction, we're just mildly sad. I'm not gonna get too uh, too hurt losing a game where I'm statistically likely to lose. I came here knowing that. A two. Should we just four X blind a two? No. Ten two. I'm sure Mike is watching this and saying yes. Four X blind it. And this is this is why I did not because that is um, that's ugly. I'm gonna I'm just gonna let that one go. There's no, not even a pair on the board to kind of block them, and they just paired up. They just paired up that easy. That's fine. It's my turn. It's my turn for a raw flush right here. Eventually, a royal flush has to happen. Probably. It's kind of like the, the whole thing. You stick enough... Uh, monkeys in a room with a typewriter and they could eventually write the entire works of Shakespeare. Eventually. I'll be old with gray hair by the time I see that royal flush, but it'll happen. Gray hair? What hair? A jack? Ace. And they're suited. I've got a suited blackjack over here. That counts for something, right? <laughs> yeah, we're no 6-5 table over here. We got a pair. We paired up. We have two pair. That's good for us. The dealer has the two pair. But we have a much better two pair with that. That jack. I needed that win. They needed it. I got a little scared there when the dealer also paired up. If I had one of those little uh, watches that track your heart rate or something, it would be like, are you sprinting right now? <laughs> Maybe you slow down and cool off. A six and a two. Ooh, aces on the board. Ah, let's check again. Mmm. Oh no. Oh no. So we are. There's two pair on the board. Dealer pairs with any of those. They got trips. They do anything higher than a six, and I'm screwed. I'm out. I'm out. There's some nice blockers up there, but like my my high card, my high card's too low. Horrifyingly low. I would have loved if I had a better high card on that one. I would have gone for it. Because those trips are not 
not likely. And that's why Trips is the side bet that it is. You see how little it's been going off for me. And Trips is just the minimum. Alright, seven. Queen seven suited, all right. Queen seven suited, good enough for me. Let's see some diamonds. Let's shine bright like a diamond. Okay, those are not diamonds, but we have a seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, not quite, not quite. And they paired up, they paired up. Well, if I was gonna come anywhere and give them my money, to have a good time, it's Green Valley Ranch. I enjoy it here. I'm gonna need some change, please. Get some more, uh, get some more action on that progressive, because I am working. I'm working on getting that 67,000. I'm working hard out here in Vegas. Really, really tough job. We're just having a good time. Having a good time, seeing if we can win some money. Oh, we're not even gonna look. Make sure that doesn't slide off. Keep that undercard hidden and let it fly. Okay. Pretty scary. But we do have high card, no matter what. And we've got a pair. Good, good, good. It's a total back and forth battle over here. I'm trying to bribe the dealer with, uh, with splitting that, that royal flush, but apparently I need to bl uh, bribe the uh, the sorting machine. But I wouldn't know what to bribe a sorting machine with. Higher voltage? King six, um, let's see, king six, that is gonna work for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with a king six. Let's see if king six worked for me. Ace. No, it didn't. It didn't. The back and forth battle continues. Giving four X's away, taking four X's back. Let's get a good four X on this one. Let's make this a royal flush four X. This might be why some people prefer three card poker, because there's no, uh, there's no pressure of that four X on it. I prefer the pressure of a 4X. I like the games where you get to make a decision where it's like, hey, this is potentially a good shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run for big money. And then you lose it. Or you win it. Who knows? 6-2, check in. Not great, check again. Okay, we have a pair. Hopefully we can at least pull out a, uh, we got two pairs, so at least hopefully we can pull out a, uh, a win there. We did. We did pull out a little win. However, I need to do a couple of those, a couple 1x wins to make up for those uh, 4x losses that I fed to the casino. Okay, a 2 doesn't excite me. King 2 still doesn't excite me. But that's a pair. We're in a 2x. Don't pair any of those. The aces! The aces are betraying me today. Right, just, just absolute gut shot. Those aces. Whose side are you on? 
I'm gonna blame the sorting machine. I really am. Clearly, I, the people in the comments are correct. The sorting machine is clearly rigged. It's not. Ugh. Random chance where the hands land. And every hand is a unique event. So this could either be wonderful or terrible. We're gonna check that. Okay. We've got a pair. Let's try to win 25 bucks. We made 50. Let's see, I need my progressives and trips. I haven't made much money switching to the progressive. The advertisements on TV would lead me to believe otherwise. I'm losing a whole lot of one dollars over here. That, Jack. Six. Checking that. We've got a pair. The ace. That damn ace. Terrifying me. Two pair. Five, four, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, two, three, four, five, six, even. This, the audacity of this sorting machine. The absolute audacity. <laughs> what is a sorting machine? I mean, because technically to be a shuffler, it has to be visible. Yeah. Like it has to have the glass case. It is an evil little dirty thing. I'll keep it PG. Queen knight. Ooh, suited. Suited. Here we go. Please, just clubs. Just clubs for me. Those aren't clubs. This happens to me every time I get clubs. It comes out spades. And aces on the board. Nothing for me. And the dealer pairs. Oh. Coming at me hot. These dealer hands. Do you want to trade seats? I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Let you have all the glory over here. Just need to literally turn the table around. Been some rough, rough hands. That's how it goes though. Sometimes, sometimes Ultimate Texas Hold'em is really good to me and other times it's really terrible to me. So ultimately, ultimately at Ultimate Texas Hold'em, it kind of balances out. Okay, we've got the ace. We're not revealing the other card. We're going in. Don't betray me, ace. Don't behave. There we go. We've got an, we got an ace on the board. We just have to. Okay. Okay. Don't full house on me. Or you know trips. What the trips? This sorting machine. <laughs> It's evil. So my bankroll is dwindling to the point where it would take an absolute miracle to come back. Absolute miracle. The miracle of the royal flush. Yeah, would it take at least the straight flush to kind of to pull this from the jaws of defeat? Seven, eight, we'll check. Ooh, gross. Okay, not great. I'm folding that one. I'm not throwing more good money after bad. Except doing it like this. I will, I will throw more good money after bad on a fresh new hand. Fresh hands, fresh wins. Let's 
sorting machine is uh, working up a hot hand for me. That's what it's doing. It's trying to calculate a royal flush for me. For me specifically. Oh, seven. That's not great. Ace hidden underneath. Here we go. Oh, uh, let's see. Hold on. I need to. 25. And we got 75. 85. 95. 100. Five. I guess I need to get some change to do that correctly. Because we're. Um, oh. Oh, I'm counting these at tens. I'm. My brain's not functioning at the moment. There we go. Two, okay. She knows what's up. I'm too distraught at the complete destruction of my bankroll. This is uh, all that remains right here. I got some back. <laughs> the ace did not betray me that time. But. Instead of appreciating that good 4x win, I'm gonna throw more money into this and get some change. For some ones, so I can keep playing the uh, aggressive. Yeah, my brain sometimes registers these reds as fives because a lot of times, especially on uh, Crazy Four and Ultimate Texas Hold'em, I'll be playing them together. Crazy four especially, because that's the table minimum over there. Okay, try to keep these together in case it's a good hot card up top. King seven suited, all right, here we go. Let's play hard. Let's play hard, win, good. King, we've paired a king. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got a little scared there with the six, seven, eight. <laughs> startled me. This is it though. This is the magical comeback right here where I at least try to get some of my money back. Going from the bankroll being empty to having some of it to play with for the rest of the day. I mean, I did want to play some other games today. I am almost out of time here at this table to try to chase my money back though. Four or five, oh my goodness. Please straight, let's go for a straight. Okay, an ace two, let's check the gun. There it is. Oh my goodness, ace straight. So the trips is gonna fire off for us. The uh, blind is gonna fire off for us. That's good. That's good. Let me just check the, the clock here real quick. I do not want to overstay my uh, welcome at the table that the uh, Green Valley Ranch has been so gracious to reserve for me. Um, so that's gonna have to be on my last hand and I'll see you in the next one. Actually, before I go, um, I cut a lot of these videos before we've uh, been able to tip our dealer. So make sure you tip your dealers and I'll see you in the next one.